गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास हाउ आर यू ऑल ओके आर यू रेडी शुरू स्टार्ट आवर क्लास
in in a mong po the 3.28 million square kilometer is 3.32.8 lakh square kilometer in a mong the the 1.8 square kilometer of area is covered by this mountainous soil otherwise forest soil. Where do you know it's found in or found in the slope slopes of mountain or hills or as or foot hills it's slow it's found in the slope because this is a slope gentle slope and steep slopes it's found in the slopes and these areas it's called as foot hills this zone is called as foot hills there we find this type of soil. The forest cover in the food hills. Why? Because because of its high humus content. This soil has more humus present. The humus It has more fertility and high humus in it. So that reason, the forest cover is more in the foot hills of mountain or any hill areas. It has occupied. Otherwise. One point eight lakh square kilometers of the total area of India, Indian lands, or West India. The total area of India is three point two eight million square kilometer. In that, it has covered around one point eight square kilometers. Then it is found like a in the Himalayan mountain, the slope of Himalayan mountains, in the slope of Himalayan mountain ranges. And in Western and Eastern lands. So mainly, the main places which have this mountain soil is in the slope of Himalayan mountain ranges and the Western and Eastern lands. In these areas, we can find this mountain or forest soil. So here, since it's having more humus and fertile, we can grow the important crops. The crops which we can grow in here, it's like tea, coffee, tea, coffee, plantation. Like it's all comes out of the plantation. Tea, coffee comes out of plantation, and other plantation also can grow here. Rubber and many other things can be grown. Then along with these other things, the barley. Maize and fruits and vegetables also can grow in this soil. These are the crops we can grow in this soil. Is it all? Arid soil. 
the mountainous soil that varies in color different it's also called as soil we have one point one more point it's also called as it's a otherwise it is a heterogeneous it, it's a heterogeneous soil this mountainous soil is a heterogeneous heterogeneous means It's a mixture of many soils. In the food hills, it is a mixture of many soils with the different physical and the chemical properties in it, and physical like a different texture of a soil can be found in the food hills. And uh, uh, the nature of soil is somewhat, somewhat will be different because it will be made up of many soils. Is it clear? Do you understand? Okay, we'll go for the next. And the last classification of the soil in India is about arid soil. Arid soil. What do you mean by arid? You have heard this word arid in a many classes, back like in eighth, ninth. You have heard, but many of you don't know about the meaning. It means you are not remembering. What is the meaning of arid? As dry. Arid is also what is a dry. Arid reason, dry reason, semi-arid reason. So we have discussed about that. So where, where, where we can find this arid reason in India, dry reason, where it is found? Yes, it is in Rajasthan, in the western part of India. So arid soil, that means the soil which is found in the arid region, it is called as arid soil. It is found in the dry region. Which receives very low temperature and rainfall. That means low rainfall, very low temperature and very low rainfall. In the Rajasthan, it is found in a dry region. It receives low temperature and low rainfall. For example, in the Rajasthan, that area that receives very low temperature, is it visible there? Let me see. And uh, okay. For example, in the Rajasthan, that area is called as arid region. That region that receives very low temperature and low rainfall, there this type of soil are formed. And it is found in the parts of like found in Rajasthan, Gujarat, and part of Haryana. Haryana. So in this mainly the most portion of Rajasthan is covered by the sand, means arid soil and some part of northern part of Gujarat and southern part of Maryam is covered by the arid soil. So there we can find this soil, this type of arid soil we can find in these three important states in the western part of India. And it has a very low humus because since this soil that receives very high temperature and even this soil will not receive more rainfall, the less rainfall will be prevailed in these areas. So easily the moisture in the soil will be evaporated because of high temperature. Then the soil required water and vegetation covers like organic inorganic matters and all those things for creating humus in the soil, is not? Soil that requires water, but here we don't get much water, so that's the reason it don't have humus and much fertility. And 
we can extract a salt from this soil like there are some areas in the Rajasthan there due to the evaporation of water molecules in the soil we can get a soil in the uh, sorry we can get a uh, salt in the soil in the Rajasthan the pure salt can be extracted in the soil which is found in the Rajasthan Do you understand because of your pressure of water in there? Then right of this we will we'll continue. I think you have written about the uh, mountainous forest or uh, sorry, the mountain soil. It's a sandy in a texture. Texture is like a, a size and uh, like a, uh, the physical properties and the size will be sandy. So we know in the soil we have different types like a sandy, loamy, clay, silt. These are the types of soil where we can find. This arid soil it's a sandy in a texture. It's a sandy, sand, sandy that is sandy in a sand like sorry, sand is a sand we know about sandy in texture and saline in nature. Saline in nature. What do you mean by saline? Saline like a salt content in the water. Salt, amount of salt content in the water, water, sorry, water and yes, it's a saline water. Yes, yeah, saline soil is like a soil which has a salt content in that. It is saline. Why it will be saline? Salt, saline soil. Because the water molecules will be operated in under great temperature, this high temperature. So that reason it will turn into saline, the salt soil. Here we cannot find much vegetation since as we discussed here we have less humus and fertility in the soil so that reason low vegetations are found low vegetations and it is unfit for agriculture activity this soil is unfit we cannot make use of this soil for agricultural activity because it is having less humic, uh, humus and fertility but in some other areas like the western part of Rajasthan and some part of like uh, Gujarat and Haryana they are making use of this soil for a growth of like cultivation they are cultivating some crops by using or by providing with a particular like a proper techniques and the irrigation facilities and the fertility like a um, fertilizer chemical fertilizer by adding a chemical fertilizer and pesticides some soil or uh, some part of uh, Rajasthan and uh, Gujarat there the arid soil can be used to grow the, some particular crops there the crops which can be grown in this soil like the cotton maize the millets can be grown by providing suitable irrigation facility irrigation facility and chemical fertilizers not only chemical you will, uh, you will write as a fertilizers it may be natural or chemical fertilizer anything but by providing suitable irrigation facility then the chemical fertilizer any manure we can grow the crops like a cotton, maize, millet and other important crops can be grown in this soil is it clear? this found in the places of Rajasthan mainly the western part of Rajasthan so there only one river which flows in the Rajasthan what is the name of that? We discussed in the last year in the ninth class, second chapter. So, what is the name of a river which flows in Rajasthan? It's also called as a seasonal river. Seasonal river. What is that? 
Yes, loony. Is that a word? Red dog? Is that a word? Is it over? And now, about uh, the classification of soils, that is what we discuss now. Then we have one more important sub-concept to discuss in this. Main concept soil as a resource, it's about the soil erosion. So we are getting a use of continuously from the ancient period, we are getting uses from this soil for many other activities. And not only the human beings, even the nature, like a natural factors, is also troubling the soil. This is uh, making soil to get a degradation. Is it not? There are two important factors like human factors and physical factors, which is a reason which is a cause for having degradation in the erosion in the soil. So now that we will discuss about the soil erosion. Soil erosion. Soil erosion, soil degradation. You know, you know about the land degradation, soil degradation, soil erosion. So what is a land degradation? Land degradation uh, is nothing but decline of the soil quality. Or land quality, it's a land degradation, it's not same like that here. The soil degradation, soil erosion, it's nothing but like a decline of a soil quality. It's a soil erosion. Soil erosion here, erosion, the word erosion is nothing but removal of things, taking out of a thing from the main part or main thing. It's about erosion. And yes, for example, we have here. The rock. Good high temperature and low temperature to do work of wind and the water, the part of rock will be eroded. Mainly in the Rajasthan, in the desert. In the desert area, we can find the mushroom rocks there. Earlier, the rock will be like this, is it not? So, due to the work of wind, these portions, both the portions will be eroded in all the four directions, is it not? All the four directions. This portion should be eroded and that gets its form as a mushroom rock. This, whatever the portion was eroded, is called as erosion or removed. Whatever the portion earlier was, it was removed now. It's called as erosion. Removal of the parts, like removal of the things from the main object is called as erosion. Removal of soil surface by otherwise uh, or and uh, subsequent washing down. <laughs> the surface of the soil when it removes or it will be eroded. Like it will be taken off by the work of water, work of wind and many other factors. It's called as soil erosion. Removal of quality of the soil, it's soil erosion. And the subsequent washing down is removing. Washing is nothing but removing. Like the cloth will wash and the dirty things will go away. It's, not. it's like removing. So same like here, the surface of earth, the upper layer of surface is covered by the soil. is not the removal of earth. Surface of the soil is called as the erosion. There are many factors which causes for the soil erosion. 
the factors causes for soil erosion or deforestation overgrazing and improper agricultural activity and construction of these are the causes for soil erosion is it not many is about the deforestation it's like a human factors it's a human factors what we are discussing is all the human factors the deforestation and overgrazing you know the meaning of grazing and the improper agricultural activities what is that improper like using chemical pesticides in that more chemical pesticides and uh, flowing in vertically flowing the land that causes for the erosion of the soil in the slopey areas is not in other in the slopey areas here suppose we have agricultural land in the slopey areas here how we have to flow the land parallelly we have to flow land is not iriti olbe padre the people the uneducated farmers what they will do they flow the land like this the people who don't have much knowledge of this they flow the land vertically then it causes for the removal of soil the doctor of soil easily so it is a improper agricultural activity then construction activity for the construction of our like urbanization for road construction railway construction so all those things that causes for the soil erosion and uh, it's all the human factors then like a flood and uh, yes the flood is a main activity in arctic this is like a human like a natural factors flood and earthquake and tsunami it's all a natural factors which causes for the soil erosion right or if you ask to explain if you are asked to explain about the soil erosion we can write deep level all those things deforestation how it affects and the work reason how and you know about all those things in proper agriculture what are those improper agriculture we are uh, going and we are using or uh, what are those activities which comes under this improper agriculture activity we know about all those things then in construction activities so you can explain all those things when we get a same question for the final is it okay is it okay have you written yes here in the soil erosion there are many types the removal of the large surface large surface of the soil is called as sheet erosion the completely large surface the large area around it may be uh, one square kilometer or this half square kilometer anything so it it will be removed by the washing down of the waters um, due to maybe precipitation of water so it's called as sheet sheet erosion the removal of large surface of soil is called sheet erosion sheet erosion then the stream of a river that creates gully erosion stream like a the path the river tributaries tributaries of rivers and the main rivers that causes for the gully erosions it's a main river suppose and here we have tributary and another tributary which joins to tributary this tributary let me draw so more big here main river and we have a tributary we have another tributary over here is jens 
here because of these two tributaries the work of water that causes erosion here that causes that become a reason for erosion of soil over in this area it's a gully, gully erosion we call it as a gully erosion so here not only here even here the adjoining point in these areas that causes gully erosion that causes erosion in these points v-shaped or u-shaped areas so it's called as gully erosion Is it over? Over. Now, we will discuss about the soil conservation. You know what soil, then what do you mean by conservation? Conservation is nothing but protecting, preserving. So preserving of uh, soil, soil preservation from the soil erosion. Is called as conservation. Preservation of soil from soil erosion is called the soil conservation. Sorry, uh, so yes, the soil conservation. Preservation, otherwise, protection. Preservation or protection. Of a soil from the soil erosion is called as conserving. We are conserving. So there are many processes. There are many methods to conserve. The important methods methods to conserve soil are afforestation. Afforestation, then check on overgrazing, then mulching, terrace forming. Contour barriers, contour flowing, shelter beds, and the dam. So, dam that comes under this contour barriers, rock dams. Yes, the rock dam that comes under comes under the contour barriers to conserve the soil. Afforestation, you know what the afforestation, the planting of a trees. So when we plant the first trees that holds the soil, it will not allow soil to get erosion, get eroded with the flowing of water. You know that. Then our check on overgrazing. Overgrazing. We need to check that frequently, we need to get to know whether, whether it is getting overgrazing or whether the soil is uh, reducing its quality and those things we need to check. Then mulching. Mulching is nothing but covering the bare land in between the plants by covering uh, dry materials like uh, um, organic matters. Here we have a plant, suppose it's a plant and you'll be having a bare land here. And we will make this place to put a water, pour water is from. So it's here, yeah, they will be having a chance of getting erosion, this chance of soil erosion in this area. So that reason, by covering this bare land with the help of uh, the organic materials like a straw, grasses, by covering with uh, like a dry grasses or any grasses so that we can reduce the erosion of soil there. It's called as mulching. Then terrace forming, terrace forming is like a large or flat steps in the slopey areas. Here in the slopey areas, if you uh, what do you call the growth of plant, uh, crops there, it will be having a chance of erosion of the soil. So if you or uh, if we make this step cultivations, also what is terrace forming? This step cultivation, if you practice the step cultivations, 
we can reduce the erosion of the soil, is it not? We can reduce the erosion of the soil. It's called as terrace forming. Then contour barriers in the slopey areas. Flowing the land, agriculture flowing the agriculture land parallel to the contour. It's suppose one patch of agriculture land. It's a slopey areas. If you flow the land like this, and there will be having chance of erosion, soil erosion. So if you flow the land parallel to the contours, then there will be less chance of soil erosion. Is not there will be less chance of soil erosion because it will make adults. The undulation of these things it will make adults for the soil erosion. That will we can reduce the soil erosion there in that. Then it's about contour barriers. Then contour flowing. The same contour uh, contour flowing. That's what we want to discuss. Contour flowing. Contour barriers. Barriers like here. We have the border of agriculture land. Suppose it's a slope area. This barriers will be constructed like constructed as a wall by using a rock and the waste materials, soil and mud. It's called as contour barrier so that it will protect the soil erosion. The water can be stored here by constructing some sand, uh, tank like structure. It's like contour barriers. Then shelter beds. You know, shelter beds is like a growing or uh, planting trees in parallel in, in one row. It's called as shelter beds. Planting trees in one row or in the border of this uh, agriculture field is called as shelter beds. So that it avoids the uh, like a more velocity of wind blow will be avoided by these trees and it will, it will reduce the erosion of soil the top layer of the soil can be avoided by accepting all those things it's a shelter base and regulation regulate use of chemical fertilizer use of chemical Fertilizer. Is it over? Okay. By this, uh, we completed one chapter successfully. And in next class, from the next class, we'll go for second chapter. Right, others? Yes, sir.